I'm here to teach you how to prevent diabetes, and I have the proof to back it up. In this video, I'm going to teach you a secret method to prevent diabetes that most doctors don't know about. I'm going to talk about how to stop diabetes in its tracks. This is something that I'm very passionate about because I have seen firsthand how this disease can destroy lives. I'm going to share with you the steps that I took to stop diabetes. So if you're interested in learning how to control this disease, then make sure to watch this video all the way through. First of all, as many people know, there are two types of diabetes. Type 1 is a genetic disease. You are born without the ability to produce insulin, a hormone that protects you by controlling the amount of sugar, or glucose, in your blood. The second type is what most people grow into over time. They have too much blood sugar, and their insulin can't keep up with the amount of glucose in the blood. This is the type I'll be discussing in this video. Diabetes is not just a fat person disease either. It can also affect thin people, and I'll explain how this happens in just a minute. If you're even as little as 10 pounds overweight, diabetes can begin to slowly destroy your body. It's a silent, deadly killer. Whether you want to avoid getting diabetes, or if you already have it, it's important to know how to keep your blood glucose levels low the easy way. And I'm going to show you how to do just that with a miraculous, natural herb that's been used for centuries in Chinese medicine. I'll also give you some tips on how to avoid becoming diabetic in the first place. High blood glucose levels are a common problem in almost 80% of the population. It occurs when your body does not produce enough insulin, a hormone that regulates blood glucose levels by either converting food into energy or storing it as fat. How can thin people become diabetic? They may have a high metabolism to burn excess fat off their bodies, but that doesn't necessarily burn off the sugar or glucose in their blood. High blood glucose levels can result in terrible diabetic complications if left untreated. Remember, diabetes is a silent, deadly killer. What is HbA1c? HbA1c is a blood test used to measure how well your body is managing your blood glucose over the course of a two to three month period. It only measures how much glucose your body has long term, not how much glucose you are currently taking in. A high HbA1c number means you have high blood glucose and it can predict the long term risk of diabetic complications. If your HbA1c is above 7%, you are at a higher risk of developing complications like heart and kidney disease and diabetic retinopathy, which can cause blindness. It can also increase the risk of certain types of cancers, Alzheimer's disease, kidney failure, and even limb amputations in extreme cases. A lower HbA1c will improve your quality of life and keep you healthy. Here are a few simple steps to lower your blood glucose levels to avoid getting diabetes. Monitor your blood glucose levels to ensure they are in the range your doctor has recommended. Follow a healthy diet that includes whole grains, vegetables, certain fruits, and legumes which are more efficient at glucose absorption than refined foods. Lower your consumption of sugary carbs and highly processed foods. Get enough sleep, exercise daily, and maintain a healthy weight. Keep stress in check and avoid stress-inducing products like alcohol, drugs, and smoking. And one of the most important things you can do is take a natural supplement called berberine. Berberine helps lower blood glucose levels similar to how metformin does, but more naturally. Berberine is a natural compound found in many plants. It has been used for centuries in traditional Chinese medicine to treat a variety of conditions and been shown to successfully lower blood sugar levels. In several animal and human studies, berberine was shown to be as effective in lowering blood glucose levels as the diabetes drug, metformin. Berberine increases insulin sensitivity and leptin sensitivity, and it helps decrease metabolic syndrome and cholesterol inflammation. But berberine can cause problems in some people who may be sensitive to it. Berberine by itself doesn't completely dissolve in your digestive system. It can cause diarrhea, constipation, flatulence, and abdominal pain. Sometimes you'll even find the yellow berberine powder in your stool. That's why many berberine products have you take hundreds or thousands of milligrams at a time. Most of it just doesn't digest. 
To overcome these problems, you should use dihydroberberine instead. It is a more digestible form of berberine, so you can take a lot less and get much better results than you would from taking standard berberine. I have tested several brands of dihydroberberine, and my best results came from using either endurance products or peak performance glucovantage. I can wholeheartedly recommend these supplements because both products have successfully kept my HbA1c below 5.4%. Take a look at the links in the description below and choose which one you'd like to try. You'll be amazed at the difference that hydroberberine can make in your blood glucose levels. But always check with your doctor first to work out a plan to monitor your blood test results, both with and without dihydroberberine, to be sure your blood sugar levels don't get too low. Even your doctor will be amazed at the results. Here are the benefits of dihydroberberine. It lowers blood glucose levels. It prevents weight gain. It reduces oxidative stress. It improves insulin sensitivity. It improves cardiovascular health. It improves longevity. It reduces the risk of death. It is effective in all stages of diabetes. It is safe to use and does not have any side effects. It can be purchased easily online without a prescription. So, to summarize, HbA1c is a blood test used to measure how well your body is managing your blood glucose over the course of a 2-3 month period. And a high HbA1c means high blood glucose and a higher risk of diabetic complications. Follow a healthy diet that includes whole grains, vegetables, some fruits, and high-fiber foods which are more efficient at absorption than refined foods. Lower your carb intake. Get enough sleep, exercise daily, maintain a healthy weight, and avoid stress. If you have diabetes, you know how serious and dangerous it can be. But, even though it is dangerous, it doesn't have to stop you living the best life you can. If you're not yet diabetic or pre-diabetic and you don't want to become one, you should still use dihydroberberine to keep your glucose levels in check, especially after a high-carb meal and heavy drinking. The more your glucose levels spike after meals, the closer you can get to becoming diabetic. And dihydroberberine can help keep you healthy before it's too late. Remember to check out my links to dihydroberberine in the description below. As usual, this video talks about my results, your results may vary. Always consult with your doctor before starting any new health or nutrition regimen. And as always, be safe, be healthy, and enjoy life to the fullest. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and please share this video with your friends and family to help keep them healthy. Thanks everyone, and have a great day.